course, has trained the teachers when these students have these devices on all the tips and tricks that they can do to make sure that the students are actually working and doing what they're supposed to. We will also obviously have filtering software so the students can't go out and just do whatever they want um, on, on there and, and go to inappropriate sites. Yes, ma'am? And the libraries teach internet safety and privacy and security. To the students? Yes. Yes, so we do a lot with the teachers and the media <coughs> specialists do a lot with the students. So they are teaching them about internet safety and what they should and shouldn't do on the internet. Um, so yes, but you know, again, as far as what your question was, monitoring the students and what they're doing, we really, yeah, we're gonna have everything in place. And you have a lot of it in place now, and then training the teachers on what to look for. And it is, it really is, an, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you can only block and filter so much. I mean, you can't, it's the internet, it's fast. And so, at the end of the day, it does become about education having taught at TAC for years and even having uh, a one-to-one -one pilot in my classroom, I, I can tell you it, a lot of it comes down to uh, somewhat maybe a little, you know, uh, just old-fashioned classroom management skills and, and you know, uh, classroom management is classroom management at the end of the day. And there are some technical pieces that, you know, uh, staff will, will be learning and, uh, you know, at home if there are, things, there are things you can learn too. Um, a, a great resource for, for tips about classroom management um, and, and also for, on the parent, parenting side, classroom, uh, Common Sense Media is a, a really great resource. I highly recommend going to it. Um, we actually link to <coughs> Common Sense Media also through um, the website we'll share with you later on. And you'll also uh, have access to our district curriculum. That's the curriculum that our media specialists in the district teach. So you can see the kinds of things uh, that, that they're teaching as well. And then, you know, as a parent, you want to know that because you can kind of uh, tag on to that and, and add to it in, in your own way and what works best for your family. So um, those those resources are there and we'll share that with you. I think that's actually, was that one of the bit least? No. We'll make sure that you have access to it at the end. Yeah, this is a great place. This is where I went years ago. Um, you know, even for me, I know a lot about tech, but I have a 14-year-old. He knows, a, you know, he's keeping up with me or surpassing me on certain things because I just don't use them all the time. So I can go here and I can read these different blogs, um, watch some different things, and find out what are what are some things that they're doing. And so this is just a site you should always have bookmark and and go on there. I know how many of your kids play Minecraft. I remember when it first started um, a couple of years ago, not even that long ago, but. A lot of parents were on Facebook, my kid wants to play Minecraft, he's only in third grade, should I let him, what's this Minecraft thing all about? And that's a great way, but now you're just looking at other people saying what they think. I mean, get in and look at it, play it with them. It's, it's a phenomenal game. Just because you don't understand it, go on and play with them. It's actually very educational. And uh, there's a lot of good things that go on in it. So I guess just like you do with anything, you're reading books when they're younger with them, and you know, they come and sit with you. If they get into these video games things, start playing them with them. If you don't like what you see, then you'll know. But a lot of times I see parents, so many parents just, I don't understand that. I don't know what that is, so, but they're doing it. They're fine, it's keeping them busy. So we really need to sit down and learn some of these things. And you might fall in love with them. Um, I know a lot of you on your phones have Bubble Breaker and all these, my, you know, these different games that you really fall in love with. And uh, it's just what your kids are doing as well. So they're not all harmful and bad. So go to here, it's a great resource to use. Uh, this is what our media specialists, a lot of them use this when they're teaching the students. There's great resources on here. And let your kids know that you know. I see that a lot. You just, you know, they just think, oh, mom and dad are dumb when it comes to technology. So they think they can get away with everything. So let them know that you know because you're out there reading the blogs and you're out there reading what's going on. And you can always email us. So again, if you have a kid, I have a 10 year old and a 14 year old. So they're into different things. One's into Minecraft, the other one's into Snapchat. You know, and to that lot of them use Snapchat. You know, you gotta figure those things out. He uses, what's that other one else? Instagram. I'm not a big Instagrammer. I'm more of a Facebooker, you know, tweeter. He's an Instagram, so I need to learn about it. What is it? So, but if you ask me, if you have questions about those things, I'm pretty in depth, well, I'm pretty, I know those pretty well at different sites. You have all of your kids? I have, I have a kindergartner right now, so. Yeah. And my other is not in school yet, so. Lots of lessons to learn, I'm sure. Yeah, but you also know what's going on in kindergarten and what's the, what's the, what, you know, you know some of the things going on. So you can always use us as resources 
I know or our social media, one of the things I, I hear parents a uh, tip or trick, it maybe we've all thought about this already, but uh, I know people that say, uh, if you're going to use social media to their children, then you have to friend me on whatever social media. There, there's a requirement that if you're gonna be on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, uh, you have to you know, friend me on there. That's, that's the policy. And all the passwords. I have my son's password for his phone, his password for his Gmail, his password for his Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I have all of his passwords. And he has to. If he changes it and I can't get in one day, then he's in trouble and then I take that away or what. I mean, there's, there's consequences. I've taken his phone away. If he's not using something appropriate, I mean, you have to be willing to do that kind of stuff. So I have all their passwords. He doesn't, I pay for that phone. So he doesn't get to use that stuff until he's, when he's 18 and buys his own phone, then I don't have access to it anymore. Um, but I, that's, that's mine. So it's a great thing to take away when they're not doing, doing something like they're supposed to. Um, but yeah, and I check them. So I don't say I'm gonna check them, and I do it right in front of them. We're watching TV, he's on his phone, I grab it right from him, or ask him for it, and then I check his email, I check his Twitter account, right? All right then, so he watches me do it. And I'll ask him questions. Hey, who's this girl on Instagram? And I have him explain it, who is this? I don't, this is somebody I don't recognize. Who are you talking, because he knows I'm gonna do that. And now that he knows I'm gonna do that, he gets, I mean, he hasn't done anything bad, but he's been busted a few times, like, why were you saying that word? And I see that you said a word that I don't think is appropriate. And that's out there for everybody to see. So I, you know, it's just that's what I do, and he knows it. So hopefully, you know, I'm raising a responsible kid. We did this. It's so funny. We do this with all of them, crossing the road with kids. How many times do we teach them how to cross the road? Don't talk to strangers. Don't. We teach them all these things. But when it comes to the internet and being safe, we never talk to them about it. You know. So I mean, nobody. Or you just say, yeah, just don't go to these sites. And if we go to one, then come talk. That's all we do. But there's a lot more to it than that, as far as helping our kids, because this stuff stays out there forever. Even though, even like Snapchat, that dis if you didn't know what that is, it disappears after 10 seconds. So I can send you a picture and it's gone, you know. So like in, what was that movie? This will, this, this will explode in 10 seconds. Yeah, this will self-destruct. It doesn't, I can take a picture, there's a lot of things out there. I like that, so it's out there, they wanna go get a job later, get into a university, they're checking these things. They're gonna go look at all these different things. And one silly mistake you made by posting something, all right, it is quarter after. I want to leave enough time for Q&As, for anything that we've talked about today. Also have, a, you know, and you can fill them out here on our, our computers, but we have the presentation that has a, a site, it's called PU Presentation for a bit.ly. Uh, we have a moderator. This is where if you didn't want to ask questions, you can click on the moderator. <coughs> and we think about how your kids can be using these in the classroom. So teachers can use these with your students, so you might see this. A lot of students don't like to raise their hand in class, they're embarrassed. So this is a Google moderator, so you can go home, you might go, oh, I forgot to ask that question. You can log on to Google moderator and ask any of those questions. And then we'll see it, and we'll respond to your question. So you don't have to, uh, you don't have to be here, because you know how it is when you, you get in the car, you get home, you're watching something on the news, and you see, um, you're like, oh, I should have asked that to them. You can go in here and uh, ask us a question. There's a place to attach anything. Like I saw this news article, what's this about? You know, I saw the Minecraft, you know, it's horrible for kids and this is the link to it. So you can include all that stuff in there. Yes? Will those links be active after the presentation? Oh yeah, they're gonna be active. They don't want to be active. Most of the links aren't that long either. Yeah, bit.ly forward slash PU presentation. Capital P, capital U. I just created them and tested them. Somebody else can test them too, but. Um, if, if, you, um, if you didn't sign in on one of the Chromebooks when you came in, um, drop us your email address and we'll, we can also follow up with an email out to, to send. We will send an email out right after this to all the people for the presentation and in the presentation are all the links as well. I just did that in case anybody had their laptop with them and wanted to Get on quickly. So go ahead and ask questions there. We're doing this again on Thursday. You might think, wow, we don't have, you know, this isn't gonna be filled up quickly. But remember what I said at the beginning. People who couldn't make it, forward them the presentation. Have them go through it and look at it. They can add questions to the moderator. Thursday, we're having another session so that people couldn't make it tonight. We'll get the same presentation. Um, they will be able to go and, and do all the same things. So you might 
go on here and be able to find some other questions that were answered. We also have the video that will be posted on YouTube whenever he finishes it. <laughs> and it won't be uh, the whole hour and a half of us lecturing it. We're going to create it in little chapters. So Google this and then you know iPads about this and then the presentation. So we'll, it'll be nice and easy to watch. And uh, then at the end we also have a form because we want to keep doing these, interacting with the community. I mean, next year we have 2,000 Chromebooks going out, approximately. Is that wrong, right? Uh, more. More. 2,000. Seems like a lot to me. 4,099. 4,099 Chromebooks going out next year. So that's that many parents, at least, um, that are going to be seeing these devices come home. The media center here at Canton is going, or the library is going to see these start coming into their, to use the wireless here. And uh, you all are going to have to know how to use Google and how to keep people safe. And we want to get this out to the, the whole community. So we're hoping to offer a lot more of these parent universities.